Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel on Hania and fixing your Lotro interface. Woohoo! Uh, if you have logged into Lotro and your screen is entirely black, you can't access or create any characters. I mean, everything is physically black, you can't see it. Go to your options, you can click right here, and it'll say in graphics Direct X9. It should be Direct X9. If it says Direct X10 and everything's black, click Direct X9, click accept, close the game, reload it. That should be sorted. Fantastic, well done. I've decided to make, just for the sake of the tutorial, a Hanasel Hobbit uh, that's a warden. Because in real life I'm quite small and I shout. So I thought, perfect, there you go, 5 foot 3 me uh, is probably a Hobbit warden. So, here we are. Um, the first thing I'm going to address is how to access your options and how to access your in user interface uh, movie about e thingy Magui. Uh, Options is very simple, Control O. Alternatively, if you press Escape, you can click Options from there. The next thing you can do to, to access your user interface, press Escape, so it's all here. Uh, press Control Hashtag, or if you are in America, press Control Forward Slash, I believe, and you will have this beautiful, messy screen filled with little blue thingy magoos. Um, the thing you'll want to do is get a feel for adjusting things about. So pick it up, move it about, see where you want things. Some people like to have their thing down here, others top left. I personally am very boring, I like it top left. Radar top right, and that's me sorted. Uh, to get rid of this again, press whatever you did the first time. So in my case, control hashtag. Okay, so now we have those very basic things out of the way. Uh, you can vaguely see that I have a general uh, chat at the bottom left of my screen. Uh, control O. Here we go. Uh, chat window opacity. Uh, we're going to make that a lot darker. I personally like eight, about 80%. That's good enough for me. And you can just click and drag and make it bigger. That's how I like it, nice and big. <laughs> there we go. So now I can see what I'm doing when I'm talking and I'm not going to be confused and squinting. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is do control O and I'm going to make the text bigger. Because if you're like me and you have bad eyesight and you don't know what you're doing, you will want to make certain aspects of the game larger. So if you go on to where it says chat, you can scroll down, you have different channels you can choose from. I'm going to go on to kingship and make that a good size 20 so that when pe people speak to me in my kin, I know that they're talking to me. I'm not going to be ignoring them. As a quite social player, it's quite important that that aspect is maintained and I can see what I'm doing. Right, the last thing I'm going to do, uh, this only really occurs when you're, let's say, in a raid, you're in a fellowship, or you're doing a lot of uh, killing in the environment, you'll want to have auto loot on. So get your options up, go to Control O, up in the search bar, type in loot, and then click on UI settings. Always loot all has been an absolute godsend. Click accept, and then you won't forever be clicking and dragging and holding and waiting. So that's my very quick guide on to making your character a lot easier to play with in the very beginning time in Lotro. If you have any questions, please send them in and I'll address them as soon as I can. Thanks a lot, guys.